It's important to know yourself and to know what you really want to do. It's important to know that you have to work really, really hard. It's not an easy road. My mother wanted me to be beautiful and popular. Pretense, that's what I grew up with. I thought when I moved to Chattanooga, Tennessee, and into this family that my husband had introduced me to, that they were very different than my family. It turned out that they had great expectations of their own. I had been working in, in Chicago, and I told my husband that I would like to keep working. And he said, no, no wife of mine is ever gonna work. And uh, so, I didn't work, but I was photographing people and I discovered this market in Scottsboro, Alabama. The veneer of the South, the veneer of this market was really alluring. I felt that I knew something of how their lives were and of who they might really be. I suppose some of the deprivations that they had, people behaving in a certain way on the surface. For me, photography was a way of expressing myself. It gave me the opportunity to say whatever I wanted to say without anybody telling me what I could do. It also gave me the possibility of taking pictures anywhere and the possibility of, if there's something that particularly interested me, to go to that place. I was having problems in my marriage and also my husband was ill and it was a very complicated time for me. My life felt like an earthquake. And I just followed my nose, you know, I followed my intuition to go to this place where there had been an earthquake. And so I found myself in this incredibly beautiful Andean landscape. And I I mean, I just, I just loved being there. It was so amazing. I ended up with nuns in this small village. They took me in, I ate with them, they gave me a place to stay. Living with the nuns, I forgot I was a woman. I mean, it was just, I was a, a person doing my work. That's all there was to it. It was nothing about being put into any category. I decided that it was the most important thing I could do was to take pictures. And nothing else mattered as much. When I was divorced and moved to New York, I just gave 100% of my time to my work. I had a show at MoMA called Ritual in 1986. And I just felt maybe I could give something back. I wanted to show that people with AIDS were just like somebody you knew next door because they were being ostracized and being isolated and people thought, don't you think you can catch it? You might catch it. 
people would say things like that. In the beginning, I wanted to be friends. There were a few people I met right at the outset that I really loved, but they died fairly quickly. I realized that I could not become personally involved. It was tormenting. For years, I didn't revisit that work. They weren't pictures, they were people. I really care a lot about the nuances in a picture. Sadness, conflict, psychology. If I got somebody who was just smiling all the time, I just really couldn't do anything with that, that kind of person. My mother always wanted me to smile, and I would never smile. So I never wanted to encourage smiling pictures of people because I thought that I wouldn't get the real character. I was always interested in human psychology, what was going on inside people. I mean, it was just intuitive. I think I just have perceptions about people. I don't know where that comes from, but I do. That's what goes into my work. I, at some point, realized that I was not looking for the surface. I've tried to connect to my own gut, in a way, with other people. Just figuring out who they might be. It took me a long time to be able to say that I'm an artist. I didn't know if I had a right to do that. People might think that I was being pretentious. <laughs> People might think, you know, that's crazy, that's my mother. Um, I just realized that what I was doing was coming from my gut and that I was interested in expressing myself. So that seemed to be what artists do. I'm very happy in my life right now. I really like living alone. I just like ordering my own life and um, I'm very happy with it. I don't know why I am, but I, you know, it feels good. <laughs>